Hey friends, welcome back to Halloween here on the Miss Michaela G channel. Today's video is going to be for this DIY painter's costume. So easy to recreate, so if you're looking for some last minute costume ideas, this is a really good one and you could totally do this with a group of friends as well. I actually got this idea from my friend Megan, so shout out to her. I love this idea and I don't think I've seen anyone else kind of recreate something like this on YouTube. So hopefully you guys like it and feel a little bit inspired. For the costume, I just grabbed a plain t-shirt and a plain hat and some fabric spray paint and painted them. I kind of went to town. I definitely shouldn't have done so much color or maybe just stick to like three different colors. I went kind of crazy, so you can of course do whatever you like, but I just like went spray paint happy with this. And then once they were done, I just let them dry overnight. Now for the makeup for this look, you can totally do whatever your heart desires. You could just put on a bold lip and call it a day. I wanted to do a little bit something different with like colors because I don't get to play that often with these kinds of makeup. So that's kind of what I'm doing. I started off with my regular face makeup. So foundation, concealer, eyebrows are done, blush and contour. For the eyes, I did prime them before I started filming and then I'm just taking this Smashbox palette which is full of bright matte colors which is so perfect for this time of year. I started off with the yellow color in my crease, blended that out until I liked the desired darkness and then I added a little bit of purple. And then to kind of shape out my eyelids more, I'm going to be taking the Makeup Forever Aqua XL, this is the white matte one, on a flat shader brush and just kind of concealing my eyes a little bit because I'm going to go in with some glitter. But before I do that, I have to prime for glitter. So this is the Too Faced Glitter Glue. If you're planning on wearing glitter for Halloween, definitely recommend picking this up. It's a great little adhesive, but also like primer. It's not too sticky. I got this little stack of glitters from Claire's when I was literally seven and I still have it. So this is what I'm going to use. I'm going in with the white one, which actually had a little bit of a green iridescence to it, which turned out pretty good. Once I packed on all that glitter, I went on to eyeliner and right here I'm using a Makeup Forever Aqua XL liner and this is like a really pretty lilac but it didn't really show up as prom prominently as I'd like it to. So I just went in with a dark purple eyeshadow and kind of just shaded in. It gave me a good guide to where the wing was going to be but after that I went ahead and popped on some lashes, just your basic everyday and also applied mascara. And then from that same Smashbox palette I took the green on a little brush and ran that on my lower lash line just to give a pop of color. Now at this point I definitely was starting to feel like a clown, I'm not gonna lie. I was like, oh god, should I just like start over? I don't really know how this is gonna turn out, but bear with me, I kept going, I persevered, and it actually turned out okay. So after that I just applied some lower lash mascara and that happened. That always happens. <laughs> So here's just a quick look at the finished eyes. You could totally use this for any other colorful Halloween costume that you guys are planning. Something like an 80s costume or even for Pride, this totally works and hopefully you guys got some inspiration. And I totally apologize, I use my middle finger a lot in this video, I didn't realize and I'm not flipping you off, obviously. So apologies for that, I totally didn't even notice I was doing it. But moving on to the paint splatter to tie in the costume a little bit, I'm using a Makeup Forever Aqua XL paint in aqua, or like it's basically just a blue color and and then I also took some NYX eyeliner, this one's a yellow, and just kind of like smeared that on my face. And then I also took a bright liquid lipstick from Too Faced and took that on a brush and kind of just swept that on my face to add a little bit of color and make it look like I was painting something. What's a tutorial without highlight? So I'm going in with my NARS highlight palette and taking the lightest shade and really brightening my inner corner with that as well as my upper brow bone. And then basically after that I just moved on to lips. I was a little undecided of which color I wanted to do so I went with the same color I had previously put on my face, the like nice purpley pink and applied that and then I took the darker pink color and just put that into the center of my lips and blended it out to give kind of an ombre effect. Once the lips are done, you can go ahead and set your makeup with a setting spray so it doesn't go anywhere all day or all night. And that is pretty much it for the makeup. And then you can go ahead and put on your costume. And when I put on the hat, I actually realized that the covering, it, the hat basically covered the marks on my forehead. So I took that same pink color and my brush again and just made another paint mark on my chin just to kind of tie everything all together and make it a little bit more noticeable. 
And of course, you're gonna wanna carry around a paint can with you. You can totally use this as a trick or treat bag or you can fill it with your own treats and give them out to your friends at a party or at school. I think that would be a really great idea. And that is the completed costume. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found some inspiration. It's so much more fun making your own costume for Halloween. So hopefully you guys liked it. And don't forget to come back tomorrow for another video in my Halloween series. I'll chat with you guys then. Bye!